From Universal Studios Hollywood, welcome to Home and Family. Right in Bursting through the, through the front, front door. door. Welcome. Of course. Of course. Welcome to Home and Family. We are so happy you could be here. As you can see, we're just chock full of fresh ingredients today. Too much, too many. Too much. From, yeah. And from our our our, our herb garden, garden. Herb, herb garden yeah. outside. We have to get another Can't garden talk. going because everything's herb garden. We I know. Need a well, garden. Shirley's coming to do the vegetable garden in okay. a couple weeks, so we're going to do that. But we have all our herbs here. Okay. Yeah. And so I didn't want to talk about it yesterday because I still had to get over the trauma of almost burning your house down. Okay. So <laughs> listen to this. Okay. So Saturday we are. In Invited up to visit you at your yeah. and your boys mm -hmm. at your house uh -huh. in the country, and we go and I go schlepping in all my things, and there we are, <laughs> right? Okay, and I made macaroni and cheese, and I caught his kitchen on fire. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was staged right there. No, it was like. No, that was not staged. Oh. No, but, but tell what is, happened. Can I reenact? Okay. Can I? Right. This is what happens. I'm standing here, and I'm just. Oh, the house is full of wonderful smells, and Christina goes, "Oh, right, let me get the mac and cheese," and she goes. Yeah, it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and the flames were shooting out. And she just goes, yeah, it's on fire. <laughs> Is it a souffle mac and cheese? What kind of mac and cheese? I was panicked because I thought, you know, you can't feed fire oxygen. So when I opened up the, the oven, it went, we just came out. So I thought I'd just close it and it would stop. It did yeah, not stop. No. It just kept burning. I was so embarrassed. Yeah. It's like, I, well, I you know. We put it out. We put well, it out. Yeah, we, this is how he, put, he goes in to take it out with, with his is mitts, and yeah. the whole thing is flaming everywhere. There so, is. Yeah. These are not real. <laughs> what you see before you today have been applied, reapplied by true. makeup artists. It's true. Okay. <laughs> it came up. But it was good. Blackened. <laughs> blackened. blackened. Yeah, blackened. Everything's blackened today. Oh, everything. Blackened everything guacamole. Tastes no, but everything <laughs> after that, the dinner, everything <laughs> tastes burnt. Everything did. It was terrible. Well, my, I my can, first yeah. time burning anything. So you thanks. know what? I will say this though, because it's a relatively new oven stove. It hasn't been you have to calibrated. Have calibrated. Right. It's like it's one of these big industrial kitchen things that have the yeah, BTUs on it, like five thousand, or f no more than that, fifty thousand. I'm not going to take, take all the blame. Okay, no, okay. I'll take a little bit for burning down and your uh, house. Okay. All right. Well, we hope that the wedding we're going to have here uh, coming up or early summer I'm not gets off cook the wood. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you have to have an event at your wedding. You always do. But back with us today are bride and groom to be Charlie Bontempo and Gabby Kiss. They are here. Very important decisions to make. Uh, well, of course, you made the most important decision, that is to get on bended knee and propose, but now you're dealing with a lot of stuff getting ready. What, what decisions are you faced with today? Well, today I'm very excited because now we get to taste food. Yeah. Well, yes. you come to the right to place. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and we, we've decided to, well, I'm going to actually ask celebrity wedding planner Kristen Banta about exactly what it is that we're going to do and then show you what we're going to do. So, Kristen, welcome, welcome back. Kristen. Welcome, Kristen. Yeah. Welcome. So, what do we choose for the wedding? So we have good stuff today. There, we're going to be having some bites from Urban Palette, an amazing caterer that we selected to, uh, to do more of a, an hors d'oeuvre cocktail type reception. And these are some of the beautiful hors d'oeuvres. Can we take a look at this? And everything That's looks fantastic. delicious. I can't. This looks interesting. This, this, and this, and this. this, and this, this, this. <laughs> I mean, I would. Pick, right. They look all. They're this so funny, beautiful. It's funny. Funny you didn't go with the burnt mac and cheese. I thought that <laughs> might have been a, an option, but no burnt mac and cheese. I don't know. We might have to change something up. <laughs> the whole yeah. backdraft yeah. feature. Okay. Yeah. Right. I um, can't wait to get to those a little uh, later on. Out on the on deck, deck is Chef Adriana Morera. She is from Urban Palette, and she's going to give us a little tease as to what foods you're preparing. Gabby and Charlie really love and they want they chose together and so here we have a jalapeno popper that they love and we kind of just did our own twist on it and the same with the spaghetti and meatball and a little mini biscuit with some pimento cheese and a mac and cheese ball that's not burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, twist it. Go ahead, twist no. it now. Go ahead. Come okay. on. We all have our mishaps. <laughs> yes. Well played, though. I must share. Yeah, well played, yes. Okay, so look, General Hospital is honoring its 50th anniversary, so you may know our first guest is as Damien Spinelli, but he is also, in real life, actor Bradford Anderson. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Thank Hello. you so much for having me. You big, big surprise to see you 
One of which is the return of the Nurse's, nurse's ball. ball. Yes, you get Very. to see some of your favorite characters sing and dance, uh, even if you wouldn't imagine that they could. Uh -huh. um, so that's very exciting. It's a great way to celebrate 50 years on the air. And we're going to get more into the nurse's ball, but also uh, a little love triangle going on there. I know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't guess, but no. No, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you, there are two very beautiful women vying for my affection, huh. and one of them may actually be carrying my child, but I'm not <gasps> supposed to know that. So oh. look at them. Aren't look they really them. pretty? Wait, let's look at the body language just for a second there. Look at how powerful. Look at I that. see you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. One of them is carrying your yeah. child. Well, not too bad, huh? Well, I mean, I, you know, I, it's hard to know which one's going to pick me, so I have to be prepared for either one. So I'm, I'm ready to myself. You just hate going to work, I bet. It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. yeah. 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 I know. Look around. I mean, I'm surrounded by women. I know. Yeah. Doing a bad job. Similar it. plates, us. Yeah, right? I Tough know. Life we well, yes, sir. All right, and also joining us is a, well, can't wait to talk to you later. <laughs> Likewise. Out. Okay. Also joining us is a new family member and celebrity fitness trainer, Ashley Borden, is here. And Ashley <laughs> has actually trained uh, celebrities such as Christina Aguilera, Mandy Moore, also Ryan Gosling. Oh my gosh. I would so want to be there for that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. You and every other female in the entire yeah. world. Well, you, you're sharing with us. Um, it's not necessarily that we're going to look at a workout that could change things, but it's more about our posture. Yes, I'm going to be showing you a tool that I use that will actually change the way you go about your entire workout and your warm up. So it's like okay. kind of like having your own little personal trainer there with you for under $10. Mm, um, yes, we like that. And I'm going to also be demonstrating a full body workout with another piece of equipment that I love and kind of telling you about my story, about how I got yeah. started and and my struggles. Not always an easy road for you. Right. Not, right always, not always an easy yeah. road for a lot of people, but for my story, it ended up um, bringing me here, and so I can share it with everybody and hopefully inspire some people. All right, so let me ask you real quick, because yeah. this $10 tool you called it, is it, will it help, it will help me prevent injuries, because I do have back issues. Absolutely, sometimes. yes. It'll okay. help you prevent injuries, it'll help you with your alignment and your posture, so uh, what you're doing outside and doing with your little warm, your warm up or your workout, you'll be able to take out into the world and be more upright and feel more confident. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Stand up straight. Nice. Will I look okay. like Ryan? When I'm all said and done, I'm like Ryan Gosling. Sitting up. Everyone starts sitting up more. Yes. All right. <laughs> Returning family member Tamara Berg has also brought us something sweet today. She brought Pixie sticks, and she's putting a DIY twist on them so you can do it with your whole family. Hey, Tamara. Hey there. Hi. Yes. It's a do-it-yourself twist on a classic candy where you control the sugar and maybe even add a little nutrition. Oh. What? I know. What, what? Say it ain't so. It's so, Mark. Really? <laughs> we have a fun little thing. I see it's that. Gone. It's just been gone. Yeah, I see that. Mark. Sugar and spice. Mark. Okay, thanks, Samra. Yeah, okay. Also with us today, we'll be in there. We'll be in there, don't you worry. Also with us today is licensed clinical psychologist, Dr. Lindsay Heller. She's Woo! new to our family. But she is here with arms wide open helping, she specializes in helping families and parents specifically deal with something that's very familiar to a lot of people, and that is the empty nest syndrome. Womp, 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 that's womp, you. Womp. Yeah, she went through this <laughs> yeah. uh, painstakingly, yeah. right? It's very sad. So yes. how do, let's talk, parents are what, attaching themselves to their children too much? Is that what leads to this? Well, actually, it's a quite it's quite normal to have empty nest syndrome, and I mean, what happens is that you know you place so much value in your identity and you know their experience of raising them for 18 years, and then they're off to college, and it's empty nest syndrome is the experience of the feelings that you have after they've left. And it's yeah. very, it's very sad. There's I ways to get like, through it, though. There are a lot of ways really to get through it. We're going to talk all about that today. Yeah, because it's yeah. going to be that time. Kids are heading off to college. We also have two moms that are going to be here dealing with the empty nest syndrome in two very different ways. Uh, single mother is one. Another is an, um, experiencing that empty nest um, syndrome for the second Sick time. 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 So, yeah, it's not going to It doesn't get any easier. easier. I had seven of them leave, and it was, oh, you know, wow. hard. It's a time. big nest. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> nest. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad yeah. they're gone now. <laughs> it's like they're out. I'm glad. Amen. Yes. Well, uh, okay. That's a lot. <laughs> and the dogs, too. Take them all out. Later <laughs> on in the show, we're going to get our hands dirty. We're going to um, 
We're gonna be breaking out the power tools, which I love a little bit, which is a little bit. We're gonna do, let me show you the before and after on this. We're gonna take wine crates like this, and we're gonna DIY those things right into something that can be usable and affordable, and it's and a very red. simple. Wait, how oh, did that get red? Oh, it painted red. What I wonder you, how that happened. That is, <gasps> Maybe a little elf came and painted it red. <laughs> that was not the way in rehearsal. Seriously, did you have Seriously. a Seriously. Uh, it just turned red by itself. There it is. I'm gonna turn red right now. <laughs> oh, oh, you're gonna be the Hulk? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, also, Even this is red. red. Everything. I love red. I love red. So, but today I'm going to share one of my very, very favorite salad recipes. Now, people go, oh gosh, another salad. Well, don't worry. I go to the open market every Saturday and I buy fresh herbs and fresh uh, garden vegetables. So I came back this time with some arugula, and of course our herbs are out here. I'm going to be making a chicken tostada that's low fat, and you can just pile as much salad on there as you want. You have your protein. There's beans in it. A great uh, bean salsa. So we're going to put all of this together later. And look at this guacamole and salsa mm -hmm. and fresh arugula. <laughs> and what are we drinking with that? Uh, we are going to have beer. Uh -huh. We're going to ask the uh -huh. beer chicks to uh -huh. Skype in mm -hmm. so we can ask them what type of beer love you would serve things. with this delicious looking tostada. <laughs> good. There we go. I right? I love it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> right. 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 We're all clamoring at you. You all get beer, all get beer sure. and you all get a toast off. Yeah. Right. 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 So right. uh, He's not relax. leaving. He's and not leaving <laughs> now. Right. Right. Didn't sure. I tell you before we went on? I know. I know. Food, exercise. I know. I just, I didn't, I was, it all sounded too good to be true, but you here it is. Right. Here you are. No. My vote's on Dos Equis. Dos Equis? Okay, so look, last week, we have to share this with you because last week we had the host of Yahoo's web series, Daytime in No Time, Nikki Boyer. She was here. I love Nikki so much. She's a great person. She recently posted a video about what it was like spending a day here with us on the set of Home and Family. Take a look at this. It turns out that watching as much daytime TV as I do pays off when I go on a daytime talk show like Hallmark Channel's Home and Family. I can perform songs, show pictures of my dog Bernie, talk about step parenting, and even combine a cooking and dancing segment into one. I feel like we're doing like a little stage act. I'm like, okay, yeah. am I turning you up or am I dancing with you? Fortunately, they ran out of time for the workout segment, but I did manage to help them test out a great product just in time for Easter. I'm about to show you how it's done. Eggs. So much fun. No! <laughs> that just happened. That, did not. that just happened. That's now that's good television. <laughs> uh, you know, we actually had another segment. It's called Paint Our House. And she was going to paint our house, but we ran out of time on that, too. But she's going to come back and And paint our house? We just had it painted. <laughs> no. Okay. She was just so busy when she was here. She was like in she every was. single She was. Single she's so fun. Segment. All right. We also have the winners of our vacation giveaway later on today. Mm -hmm. Right? All of that's coming up, but when we come right back, Bradford Anderson is going to sit down. You're in the hot seat. Okay. Yeah, we're going to find out about this love triangle and the nurse's ball and all of that. It's coming up with Bradford and General Hospital News right after this.